Gigi, I want you to go right back to Titer, Indiana University, a million years ago, to this idea of Titer and the mystery from booster shots. And the pros like you really don't know where we're heading. If we have booster shots, a second shot, or dare I say a third shot as well, what are you learning about the Titer around that? Yeah, so thank you. Um, so Titer refers to your antibody levels. The antibodies are uh, some of your immune responses to the vaccine. And um, we're used to measuring titers for other diseases. Yeah, you get your titers checked for tetanus or yeah. whatever to see if you need a booster shot. But that's not the only part of your immune system. And, and so what I think is the missing story with the variants and some of the, the fear surrounding them is that these vaccines are also stimulating T cells and other cells of your immune system that are a little more resilient to some of the variant changes. And so what I would encourage everyone to look at is the real world data to not just, you know, see if the antibody titers are falling or the neutralization titers are falling, but to see if there's actually a real world difference. Because thankfully, everybody's immune system is a lot better armed than, um, than just the one lab assay can detect. We are gaining confidence as a nation and frankly as in a world, Bloomberg speaking with the World Health Organization leadership from Africa just moments ago, an hour ago or so. Dr. Granvald, do you have a building confidence in how we're moving forward? Or again, is there a real mystery? Is there a mystery on the, the new variants? Well, we're starting to shine a light on the problem. And so before, I think if this was 10 years ago, we wouldn't know about any of these variants until a paper came out two years from now. So we are really getting much more on top of them. And um, maybe we could have been a little bit more proactive, but I think now, um, I think we're really starting to look for them. But people should be aware that now that we're starting to look for variants, we're probably gonna find a lot more. And that's the curse and the benefit of having more information. And Dr. Granval, based on the information that we've gotten out of Israel, an initial study uh, being published showing that the vaccine was incredibly effective. I'm talking about the Pfizer-BioNTech uh, variation and this idea that if everything goes according to what that study shows, that really would only take 60 to 70 percent of the population being inoculated to reach herd immunity. What's your take on that? I think it's great news. I think as soon as you're offered a vaccine, you should take it, and I cannot wait to get mine. So yes, I think it's very encouraging. It's real world data that shows that um, vaccination works, and we knew that, but um, people should also know that other things really work too, like you know, masks work, uh, improving indoor ventilation, that works too, but um, and, until that, until you can get vaccinated, make sure you take all those precautions. So are we out of the woods with respect to a third and fourth wave of COVID, or is that still on the table as a number of places around the world lag behind the United States, Israel, the United Kingdom with respect to the inoculation schedule? Absolutely. So um, if anything, this year has taught us is that infectious diseases don't care about borders. And until the world is, um, is has this under better under control, we're going to continue to see variants and surprises. And so that's why we need to do more to get the world vaccinated.